As you can see, I, I um, put the uh, rivet for the, for the holder, and I don't want to pay like 400 bucks for for the ice fishing kits, because uh, I don't I don't need that um, ice fishing transducer, and I don't need that 12 amp battery, so I don't want to spend that much money for just the shadow and the killer bait so all right so this is the front and that is the back the front is kind of low round and the back is, is a little flat so the black box is gonna go underneath there push that in there all right so the black box is is going there Alright, so that's where the blood box go. It's it's not in there real good. It fit nice and tight in there. Alright. So this is where my uh dual berry is gonna go. Alright, so this is how it go. I'll snap it in there. There you go. And just just to show you guys. Alright, so that's where the berry is gonna go. And this is where the uh, head unit is gonna go. It's right there. And the dual berry is gonna go in there. Okay, that's how it look. And this piece like I said, I haven't finished yet, but I'll do a final touch on that. And that is where the wire go. Okay, that's where the wire go. Wire is gonna wrap around that. That uh, the transducer. So wire is gonna wrap around this two here. Just two hole right there. All right. So. And I'm gonna build. I'm. I mean, I'm gonna make the carry bay or not to cover everything too. So, well, stay tuned, and I will make more video on that. Now I finish my everything, uh, the handle, the place, everything. So yeah, as you can see, there's a rivet right there, and there's a lot of rivet, but that's how it look. Um, I'm pre pre drop the all the hole here. That's that's where the um dual barrel is gonna go. And it's four hole here as for the for the head unit. And down here is four hole down here and that is for the black box. Again the black box is gonna go in here in between and the head unit is gonna sit right here. Uh, the battery, the dual battery is going to mount right there and the wire is going to wrap around here so here is the finish it's not really finished, I need to paint it but just do a day quick and then after I paint everything we'll, we'll do a video on how I mount everything up here and we'll show you guys more alright, pretty easy to make it and like I say, it's this leftover plastic piece from from my last project, so uh, don't cost me much. Maybe it will cost me some money to buy the some kind of waterproof fabric, or maybe some leather. Might cost me maybe fifteen twenty more dollar. So all this, it's I I guess it's it's under. Maybe thirty dollar or forty dollar. Who know? All right. At the end, we'll let you know. All right. All right, guy. So I'm just finished my um, garment panoptic live scope ice bundle. It's a homemade, and 
I did show you the the shadow that I built um, before and haven't painted but now it's been painted and like I say early the bread box is go down there and the hedge unit let's go right there and then this is the uh, dual battery going and this unit is crazy this lot of wires and it gave me a tough time to put those wire together and there's a lot of zip tie on it and to put everything uh, in, in place so for the for the shadow it took me the about four or five hours to build it it's not four or five hours it's a couple hours to build it it's easy and uh, like i say i have the plastic piece that left over from from my last project that i'm making that uh, a spinning place right there so here is the finished um, unit and as you can see there's a lot of wire duct going around here this unit is crazy um, those wires is not easy to wrap around or, or you know hiding anywhere see that wire everywhere wires wire wires all right so um, down here you see a lot of wire down here yep it's wire everywhere all right so this is kind of crazy and I, I I try my best but um, it came out really nice and clean and like I said that's the finished unit I hope you guys enjoyed the video oh I forgot uh, I, I made the the bait the carry bait and it's it took me about half a day to, to do to use my wife uh, sewing machine and to finish all the uh, detail here I just cut this piece for my uh, solo shop uh, tripod and put it right there just to make it look good and this is also mercury from uh, my 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 other tripod that I bought from Target I just cut the piece and then um, saw it there so um, make it a little detail I know if I have the uh, Garmin logo thing I would just saw it right there but I can't find anywhere so um, this this handle here is is a uh, a kayak or the canoe side mount carry thing so I bought that from uh, Kabbalah for ten dollar and the lead uh, the letter that the letter fabric that I bought from um, the Joanne fabric store it's it's nine dollar per year so that's cost me cost me like nineteen dollar right there and that's that's line age line right there that little piece is cost me about four dollars so uh, pretty much everything that uh, I got here cost me under fifty dollar uh, I'm, not, I'm not even up there on fifty dollar but I'm just saying I uh, just you know and little here little there and and I know the dual battery it's it's a uh, it's a uh, the dual battery is a 20 volt okay 20 volt and I don't wanna I don't wanna burn my units or the black box so I I ordered that piece there from uh, from eBay and that P is cost about twelve dollar, and this is the transformer or power, uh, voltage uh, step down um, from twenty four volt to twelve. So it's it convert the um, it's convert the the battery from uh, let's see see I still have three bar right there, and it's convert uh, the twenty volts into twelve volt. So that way you you don't have to you don't you know worried about um, circuit shock or anything and I just mount it right there so it's if you guys plan to use the uh, dual or, or the Milwaukee battery just like what I do here 
please buy that piece. So make sure you don't burn your thing because that thing costs a lot of money. So uh, the units cost almost like, you know, 2500 and something. So you don't want to burn the thing. Make sure you put that on to um, um, to step down your, your voltage so you, you don't burn your unit. That's why it will just just be safe. I tried that. I tried it before without that thing. It's it's working too, but it's it's gonna show on your unit that is a twenty volt um, power supply on your unit. But now since I put that thing on, it's let me power it on. It will only show um, um eighteen point. No, it's twelve point. I mean eleven point eight volt. So that's that's really really safe and like i say there's a lot of wire uh those wires is not easy it's it's not easy to um pull in on that unit so that's my uh that is the uh <clears throat> transducer all right so this is the uh the the handle that i built uh the other the other day that i i posted a video on it about it Let's do Panatex and go back. There you go. And sonar. Um, that's the light view back. And tra traditional sonar. I still show my power voltage is 11.7. .7, so that's really good. I'm safe. So I'm pretty confident about it. So flasher. And yep, yeah, all the kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it's it's really good. And data graph, so I don't know what that is, but I know all those traditional things. So I'm gonna use that on my boat too. And um, all right, so we'll just shut the power off, and then I'll, I put in the bed just to show you guys uh, how it's going there. So all right, so that's how it go, and and that's how I build it, and um, it saved me a lot of money. It saved me almost like um, the the uh, transducer mount that saved me a hundred dollar, and the ice bundle, the shadow with the bed that saved me another four hundred dollars. So that's five hundred right there, and that's five hundred. You can buy the hedge unit already. So okay, so now I put um, everything is in the care bay, and like I told you, I just do all kind of detail showing all kind of detail on it and again this is the zipper you open it here you go and then here you can see the units sitting right down there all right the unit is sitting right in there and it's similar to the one that um government they have it on a ice bundle all you do is just roll that. I try to make everything um, as close as possible to the, the original one. Alright, so this piece is sticking somewhere. Oh. Sorry. It's kind of tough to, to do everything in one hand. So, it's putting right. In here and then there you go all right so let's turn it on and back back on again there you go yep and on the back here okay this uh, transducer is kind of a little bit chunky so I pull the, uh, the bungee cords or bungee whatever it is right here so later on just kind of hook something right up there so that's what the uh, transducer go i'm sorry for the mesh because i just finished everything here and you, you can see all my tools nuts and screw and uh, he got everything is just still right there on the table my uh, glue gun my soldering all kind of thing is wrapped here so all right so yeah everything's still working that's the ship, okay. So there you go again. 
Turn off again because I'm I'm okay. I'm not in the water, so I'm not in the water. That's why um I won't show anything. But uh, we'll just do the uh, s uh, simulation on. Okay, so okay, back, back, and then we'll do the sonar and we'll do the live scope. Yep, that's how it look. But this is just a, just a simulation, okay? So, all right, so that, that's it. And so just turn off, okay? So let's put everything back on. All right, there you go. Zipper on, zipper on, and on the back. There's a zipper back in, in the on the back tattoo. That's where you get access to your battery. Alright, that's where you get to your battery. This is dual 6 amp. So there's 20 volts. And like I say, I have the transformer on there and, and, and mount on there to convert that into 12 volt. So I know a lot of people will ask me how long is that battery is gonna last. I don't know. Because I haven't been out in the water yet, but I do have like six or seven of those berries that I use on my auger. I also have the 9M uh, 60 volt flexit uh, berry also. And I I have a lot of berries, so I can use it anytime. If this one's run out in a uh, you know, couple of hours just, or maybe an hour or two or three, just take it off. All right, so I show you how to take it off. Just take it off and then put a new one in. See, just take it off. There you go, and that's the thing that. And then bite that, and then you can just use your battery. See that? All right, we'll put back in there. Click. There you go. So when this battery is run out, just. Pop it up. See that? That's easy and simple. Why do you want to carry that as the battery for, you know, 12, 15 pounds? All right. So, all you do is just slide in there and you're all set to go. I'll do my first test on ice and then we'll do more video on that. And if you, if you want to build one, if you're in Minnesota, in St. Paul or Minneapolis, area, and you want to build one, that will save you a lot of money. Make sure to message me, and I'll, I'll guide or I'll show you how you you guys can build that and save you five hundred bucks. All right. Enjoy the video. Give me uh, the thumbs up, like and share. Thanks. Have fun fishing and be safe. <laughs>